Welcome to the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I'm happy to introduce you to the brand new TIGWELD 200EX. For those of you that have been following Longevity's Welding Channel, you will know that my production welder was the 200DX. Full function AC-DC, full pulse, uh, had everything dialed in, and it's been a really trustworthy, very reliable welder. So I was sent out this 200EX to test, and given the option to trade it for my DX. Um, the DX was such a proven performer, automatically in my mind I'm saying no way. Um, I get this new machine and the first thing I no notice is it's a full Synergic design. Synergic means that it uses a small microprocessor that works together with the hardware in the unit to give you the best optimum weld puddle. Uh, it was very evident the first time that I used this machine that it was just the next generation up. The DX is still a well-proven performer, but the EX just tops it off just a little bit. So I've opted to use this now for the last month as my full production welder, and I'm happy to tell you that it's an outstanding unit. Taking you through the setup of this unit, it comes supplied with a foot pedal and also an air-cooled torch with a torch trigger built in. It also comes with a very nice stinger that is the new style that allows for multiple options to hold your electrode. Comes with everything you need to set up your air-cooled torch except for your tungsten. Now let's build the WP26 air-cooled torch. The first thing we'll do is take the collet body and simply screw it in the end. Then we'll take our collet and we'll install our tungsten on it. And keep in mind that we do sharpen this tungsten 2% lanthanated both on the AC and DC side. Simply install it like that and then I've selected the long back and we'll go ahead and just install that. And then the very last thing we'll do is install a cup. Now we have a built torch and this little red button on the top is our torch trigger if you're going to use that in a 2T or a 4T mode. The torch gets installed on the negative side and simply just plugs into the machine and you give it a twist and lock her down. The lead that's coming out of this is for the torch trigger or you can opt for the foot pedal. The foot pedal is a very nice unit. It has a very nice rheostat on it. Very well built, very solid metal construction pedal. Very nice to use. Installing the foot pedal or the torch trigger on the machine is the same process. You simply just plug it into the top here and screw it down. We're supplied with a very nice ground cable that is both copper lined and very high spring tension that will clamp to either your workpiece or your welding table. Installing your ground goes on the positive side and it simply just gets installed and twist to lock down. The off-on switch is located on the back of the machine. The machine comes pre-wired with a 220 plug already installed. Taking you through the panel of the machine is quite simple. Up here we have an AC and DC. It's just a simple push of the button and it comes back to. 2T and 4T, when you have the foot pedal plugged in, you can only stay in the 2T mode. We have a gas test, we have a high frequency start, and we have a pulse setting. When the light's illuminated, it's on. When the light's off, it's just a standard setting. Taking you through the panel, we simply can just run through, and where the light is, it'll give you weld current. With the foot pedal plugged in, your weld current is actually on your foot pedal. We have post flow, pre flow, and weld current is pretty much just all your settings on the DC side. On AC, we'll run through it again. We'll have post flow. AC balance and to tune that in you simply just turn the, the knob where you want to be. I tend to run between about 30 and 35. For your Hertz you can set your frequency anywhere from if you're an old school welder down at 60 all the way up to 250 Hertz. And then we're back right back to pre-flow. Go to pulse settings you got your weld current you have your background pulse width pulse frequency, and your base current. Pretty simple and easy to use on this machine. First thing you'll notice about welding with the 200EX is how crisp the start is. The high frequency really jumps off 
it just lights up really nice and gives you a nice continuous flow. On the AC Hertz, I'm dialed in here about 133 Hertz. That's a nice compromise between being real wide at the 60 or at 250, that's a real narrow arc. I prefer uh, this type of puddle. That's it for the setup of the 200EX. I did want to take a quick minute and do a short-term review. The 200EX has replaced my beloved 200DX as my production welder in the shop. As some of you may know, I felt the DX rivaled some of the best in the industry. But this new technology with the Synergic design gives you full optimization, full control over your weld puddle. It's by far the best unit I've ever welded with. It's very easy to set up, very easy to use, and works well on all metals. Stay tuned for further episodes where I'll take you through different pulse settings and welding different materials. I give the new 200EX two thumbs up it's the best TIG machine I've used. Thank you for watching the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.